There are millions of children in the world who are unable to focus on learning because of high anxiety and poor attention. Many children living in poverty have suffered multiple traumas as a result of neglect, intergenerational violence, parental mental illness and addiction, homelessness, and civil or political unrest. Multiple layered traumas alter or delay normal brain development, often resulting in children who are highly anxious and have trouble focusing their attention. Many other children living well above the poverty line also have severe challenges with anxiety and attention. When children suffer multiple traumas, especially early in life, it delays or changes the development of the prefrontal cortex. This is an area of the brain that deals with rational thought, planning, and self-regulation of emotion. Trauma also impacts the development of the amygdala, which is in part responsible for the fight or flight response and can become overly reactive. As a result, children can have challenges with anxiety and difficulty self-regulating their attention. These challenges can also impact other children. In the developed world, approximately 20% of children and youth have challenges self-regulating anxiety and attention. Our overarching research question is, can we use neurofeedback games for children to help them learn how to self-regulate anxiety and attention? To answer this question, we designed and built the Mindful series of brain-computer game applications that use an EEG headset and run on an Android tablet or iPad. We used mindful and controlled field studies to investigate if this kind of intervention can help children who have suffered multiple traumas or have challenges with anxiety and attention learn to self-regulate during gameplay and also transfer those skills into the classroom. The Mindful platform is composed of three main parts. The first is an EEG headset that senses and sends brainwave data through Bluetooth to a tablet. The headset brainwave data can tell if you're anxious or calm, paying attention or distracted. Second is the Mindful app that runs on the tablet and is composed of a series of games for relaxation and attention. The third is the MindView app, which runs on another tablet and allows researchers, teachers, or counselors to monitor and calibrate the games. We realize that children already know how to relax and focus their attention. They just need to learn to do this consciously and practice until it becomes easier. A child plays the game by using their body and thoughts to change their brain state. Mindful makes invisible brain processes visible in ways that children can understand. Mindful games are based on familiar everyday activities in which children have experienced what it feels like to relax and focus their attention. For example, by blowing softly on a pinwheel on the screen, a child will relax their body and brain state, which is sensed by the headset, causing the animated pinwheel to spin. MindView is a networked application designed to run on a separate tablet. It is a research tool that works with all the Mindful game apps. It gives us a window into a child's brain, enabling us to view a child's level of relaxation and attention in real time as they play. MindView also lets us adjust the brainwave and game level settings, providing real-time calibration and customization. We built our first app, Mindful Wind, for children living in poverty in Nepal. We built our second app, Mindful Sky, for indigenous children living in Canada. We built our third app, Mindful Wild, for all children living in Canada. We have run two waitlist controlled experiments, one in Nepal and one in Canada. Pre-post assessment measures from both studies show a significant impact of the mindful intervention on children's ability to self-regulate anxiety and attention. Teacher interviews have indicated that most children with coaching can transfer these skills into a classroom setting and that the effects were maintained or improved over time. We are currently looking at how schools in both Nepal and Canada use the mindful intervention without support from researchers. We are also planning a study working with children from different indigenous groups in Canada.